Thanks, everybody. Heavy to this side of the room. There's, there's plenty of seating up here if anybody wants to get closer. Um, you guys ever you guys ever polish off a couple boxes of wine by 10.30 a.m. because you're not good at, like, having a job or whatever? <laughs> this is my Wednesday morning. Uh, it's sad to drink wine out of a box. Everybody knows that. The reality, though, is even sadder because inside of that box of wine is a bag of wine. I like to just get it out and drink out of it like I'm in a hamster cage, you know? Just embrace the shame. Why not? Uh, I was going to make a mix CD for my girlfriend recently, um, but then I, I remembered nobody listens to CDs anymore. Everybody's got iPhones and iTunes now. So instead, I gave her a list of songs and $14. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. No idea what she's so pissed off about. I, uh, I was reading an article on the internet a couple of days ago on Slate.com, if you guys want to check it out. It's called 10 Ways to Tell If Your Man Is Gay. Here's, here's the weird thing about the article. Making love to another dude, not on the list. Didn't crack the top 10. Maybe next year. You think we hovering somewhere like in the top one-ish. But apparently not. So ladies, if you catch your man making sweet, sweet intercourse to some dude named Pablo, don't panic, because that is not conclusive. Uh, I gotta, I gotta lose some weight, guys. Just like sweaty all the time. Like you know the stuff that that collects on top of your cheese pizza. That's just what's coming out of me, just all the time. It's very well lubricated. I've been getting a lot of this action around my buttons lately. It makes these stress wrinkles that like radiate out. It's like all of my buttons are getting crow's feet from trying to hold this shit in. And then sometimes one down here is just like, fuck it, I'm not doing it today. Injured reserve. And then somebody on a bus gets to just peer into my goddamn belly button. Which I don't know about you guys, my shit's getting deep, son. I fit my whole fist in there. Which I'll gladly show you in the alley behind the club. For $20. Okay. Um, I was accused of being a cock blocker recently. Nobody likes a cock blocker. My roommate was upset with me, but here's my side of the story. Okay, here's what happened. I hid in his bedroom. He brings the young lady home, things start to get hot and heavy, and then right when he was about to put it in, I was like, yeah, you stay out of there. I dive in front like a goalie, reject it. We must protect his house. Every time he would thrust, I would parry. It was like a, like a fencing match. Um, I, uh, I tried mushrooms for the first time recently. Definitely gonna do that again. But uh, I did it with the type of people who, they base all of their religious beliefs on shit that they thought of when they were high. That's dumb. Don't do that. To illustrate, I'm gonna share something with you guys that I thought of when I was high. Here we go. You guys ready? Here it is. Prime rib, not divisible, by any other rib. <laughs> Not as profound as it seemed at the time. I didn't even get the definition of prime number right in the joke. But I did stop traffic on Wilshire Boulevard to write that down. So what I like to do is get high and then immediately get behind the wheel. So you're welcome. Uh, that's all for me, guys. My name is John Dunn. Thank you very much. <laughs>